Hello and welcome to my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video, I will offer you a psalm to focus on and to enjoy and bring peace and meditation into your own Christian walk. I offer this video not so much to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation to find your own calm and peace in God's Word. Psalms are wonderful to meditate upon over and over and to help strengthen you as a Christian. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and to feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word that you have given us. It is in your Son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm that I want to look at today is Psalm number 45. And let's go back in time for this meditation. Back to ancient times where we had kings and swords and princesses wearing fine gowns. Stir your heart to a noble theme says David. Think of the honor of serving nobility. A king is one to be honored, to bask in the splendor of his royalty. Imagine yourself as the skillful writer, reciting your verses to the king who straps on his sword to his side, who clothes himself in majestic gear, who rides in the victory of truth. Now let's look at the second column here. And David does something else here. He turns to thoughts of God, the greatest of kings, whose throne lasts forever. Justice rules. And if you are his loyal servant, you will be anointed with the oil of joy. Look at all the sensory imagery that this psalm gives us. The fragrance of myrrh, aloes, cassia, the pure sight of ivory, the sound of stringed instruments. They all bring us gladness and joy. And as we meditate, we can bask in these sensory imagery. David brings in the king's daughter here the bride in gold. Then the focus turns to this princess, this daughter of the king. And these are things we can focus on as children of our greatest king. We need to pay careful attention, turn our focus to God. Forget the earthly people. Forget your earthly house. Let God be pleased by the beauty you bring into the world. Look at all the things given honor to the princess who turns her attention when she gives honor to the Lord. I would be remiss to say if I didn't mention that this psalm is often looked at as a prophecy of the coming of Jesus. And we can meditate on this psalm to tell us that we need to put our focus on Jesus and how we can be as the princess and gain the glories of heaven by honoring him. We can be like the sons in the final lines, perpetuating Jesus's memory through all generations. Let us be part of that praise that will be given to Jesus forever and ever. And let's look at the royalty that is him that gave us all for us, because that's also what a king does. A king serves his people, and though he may be in splendor and he may be in wonderful arraignment, he is still the savior of us all. I hope this psalm has given you some thoughts to meditate upon. So until next time, keep psalms and carry on.